Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy Forever. Last week, we wrapped up Edge's Tale by actually finishing off Tsukinoa's part, climbed the Mount Ordeals, following Porum, lost her, but then the tower activated, so Tsukinoa walked across the ocean, literally walked across the ocean. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we started playing as Edge again. Everyone joined back in as we entered the Tower of Babel, climbed it up, got into a fight with the mysterious green-haired lady, but we just ran. And we actually successfully ran away. Into Rydia and Luca and the other guy. So we'll find out what happens with them. Hello. We'll find out what happens with them later on, I guess. But we're going to be doing Porum's Tale because it's the next one on the list. And once we're done with the, yeah, we're halfway done with this game now, I guess. The smart one. Yeah, we're doing the smart tale now. So, as the lunar whale sets off from the dragon's mouth towards the new moon, monsters suddenly pour out of the devil's road. Realizing the danger, the elder of Mycidia orders Porum to visit Mount Ordeals, and find the reclusive dragon who once served Baron with pride. Oh, that's Dragoon. When did the lunar whale set off? I, I don't remember seeing it. I'll just look. Ooh. We're starting in the back. Well then, let us begin today's session. Yes, sir. We're starting as young Porum. A few more of my games hit the goal. Oh, I got to check. I'll check after the stream. <laughs> Where is Palum? Oh, not again. Ooh, hey, this is when he was talking with Leonora. So there was in the slopes of Mount Ordeals, facing on the fiery hordes, when I cast an awesome blizzard and... Oh, <laughs> just smack. Ow! How many times are you going to be late to training? The elder is already angry. That was quick. How many times I must I tell you the same thing before it sinks into that thick skull of yours? You have a deal of growing up to do if you ever plan to be the sort of mage Tella was. Two more hours of trial, uh, trial. spell transcription for you. Yeah, Leonor just left. Hi, Palum. It's weird that we're starting out this off with a flashback. Uh, not again. You've only yourself to blame, you know. Forget this. I've had enough of this stupid training. He just runs away. What a troublesome one. Please allow me to go after him, Elder. I guess that's why it showed Palm and Porm at the beginning as their young phase. What a dancey mood. <laughs> I have to drag him back before the Elder gets any angrier. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm young Porm. That's a different picture. The phases even affect now. I'm level 10. I don't have any attacks. I threw in a gill. Palm, I just saw him running like his life depended on it just now. He's probably headed to Mount Ordeals, if I had to guess. Or the Devil's Road. 
since that was mentioned. Or is he gonna go chat up Leonora again? Oh, hello. I thought Palm had finally decided to act his age. Now I see just how wrong I was. He's six! <laughs> you know how a six year old acts? Pretty much is how he was. Elders decree that the Devil's Road be sealed. Beat any games lately? <laughs> what, was, what was the last game I beat? Uh. No. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. Give it up, Palum. The Elder wants to see you. Tough for him. I'm not going to start my training all over again. No way. I don't know if I need to buy stuff in this time. I will wait until I eventually need to. Okay, well, I guess he went over here. Even if he is just a kid, a normal person like me could never understand what goes on. What goes to the head of a genius like Palum. Don't ask him, he's right here. Give it up, Palum, the other one to see you. Top for him, I'm not gonna start my training all over again, no way! Okay, he's saying the same things again. I hope he doesn't go back over here. No, he actually went somewhere else. Back here? No. Aha! You're better than this, Palum! Thought you wanted to be a great sage like Tella. Yeah, it will. <laughs> hmm. Fine, you're right, you win. You look like you have something on your mind, boy. Look, Elder, you may not be aware of this, but my skills have developed much more than you think. Palum! Is that so? There's nothing else here for you to learn. Is that what you were trying to say? Come on, Elder. You know just as well I do know how powerful we really are. Hold your tongue, Palum. You think so too, right, Porum? Without us, Cecil would have never made it anywhere near Mount Ordeals. <laughs> what about Tsukinoa? We've grown so much since that journey we took. Haven't you realized that, Elder? Hmm. I suppose you have a point. I know I do! So I'm gonna become a sage! Just like old man Tella! Tella, you say? Then you have a long way to go, Palum. Growth is not something gained on your own. It is the product of all the people you meet along the way, from Cecil and Tella to everyone else around you. I already know that, Elder. You don't need to tell me. It is a simple thing to say, but I forbid you from leaving Missidia. It is still too soon for you. Too soon? Well, when is it not going to be too soon? When you have truly understood the words I have spoken. Can I go out and travel the world once I do? Once you do, yes. All right! I'll be out of here in a flash! So some of the others better be ready for me! Oh. Are you sure you meant to tell them all that, Elder? Of course. The meetings and partings one experiences in life help to strengthen the self. Yes, Elder. 
I'm sure you would like to hit the road yourself one day, Porum. Uh, what? It is written on your face. Plain as day. Oh. No, I guess that's it for the... That must be it for the young part. So I guess he did eventually learn it because he was allowed to leave. Oh, nope, never mind. We're still we're still kids. We still look the same. Ha! Finally, I'm off on my quest to become a sage. What made you think what made you want to visit Kaipo first? Cause it's Tella's homeland, of course. What did what do you what did you think? Ooh, why are we going to the desert? That's all? What do you mean that's all? Don't you understand anything? Huh? The title of Sage isn't something to be obtained. It's something that's granted to you. Y yeah, that's right. I knew that already. Then who do you think grants something like that to you? The elder, right? Yeah, tell it. Tell it. Even have more than 100 MP. No, the people of the world do. What? <laughs> Nobody's gonna call you a sage just because you've learned black and white magic. You have to throw away your own wishes and ambitions, Pelham, and learn to use your magic to benefit the whole world, not just yourself. That goes without saying, Porum. Are you sure you know? Well, that's the way Tell was, wasn't it? You're right. Tell traveled around the world with the Elder himself long ago. It's like we're doing right now. Wow, really? I knew it! Eventually, the Elder returned to his city and devoted his life to protecting the world through his magic. Tellum, meanwhile, continued his travels for years afterward, using his power for the good of all mankind. This is a lot of text! How long did he do that for? Oh, at least decades. <laughs> Oof, that long? And at the end of his journey, he decided to settle down in Capo, where Anna was born. Huh. I didn't know that. Of course, it'll probably take longer for you than it did for him. Well, that's what we saw after his, his daughter died. Well, I'll give it a shot. I'm in this for the long haul. There's a dock over here. Kaipo, Kaipo's nowhere close to the ocean. Ooh, finally. What are you complaining about? You slept practically the entire way. We have a long way to Kaipo, don't we? It's in the middle of this huge damn sea and desert in front of us. So we should rest up while we, we should. So we should rest up while we can, you know. Convenient excuse. Well, I mean, we are level reset.
So you're both ten. Look <laughs> like at Palum. Nice face, Palum. Hold slow, Libra. Cure sight, raise Kira. So I don't need I don't need to worry about gnomish breads because I have sight. That's slow. Ooh, that's expensive. I have Libra. That's nice. Palum has 140 magic. Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, Sleep, Poison, Blizzara, Fear of Thunder, and Break. Forum sale took a while to start. A lot of a lot of talking. We're both in the yeah, we're both in the back. And uh, we didn't buy any items either. Run! That was that was simple. <laughs> We didn't get into a single fight. Uh, we probably weren't supposed to. Wow, it's Kaipo. We're here. I'm going to hurt my throat if I keep on talking in like this high-pitched voice. What should we do first? Let's take it easy for now. You've just spent days resting on that ship. Ah, uh, quit complaining. What's the big deal? Hello. This is the Oasis town of Kaipo, the only settlement in all of the Damsian Desert. So he wanted to go here all this time, and as soon as we get here, he wants to take a break. King Edward makes regular visits to Tella and Anna's gravesite, you know. I see him there all the time. Well, I think this is a, this is an extended flashback sequence. It has to be. There's no way that, there's no way her entire tale takes place in the past. That'd be kind of weird. If you're looking for Tella's grave, it's right by the water. I guess it's this bridge? No, it's not. My, you're a certainly young pair of travelers. Make sure you don't come down with desert fever, okay? Oh, yeah, otherwise we have to go back to that cave and take care of another giant antlion mother. I'm just looking for goodies to pick up while we're here. We still only have $300. And neither of us are really equipped for physical mat physical attacks. Rod, staff, bow, and arrows... Oh, there we go. Hey, I got a potion. Yeah, it's just a giant lie. All these stories don't these stories don't connect at all. Hmm, my you're awfully small to be traveling so far away from home. Do take it easy while you're here. They say a girl who once fell ill here has become queen of Baron. I'm sure she's a sight to behold nowadays. That's a creepy thing to say. Yeah, the inn is here. The the uh, armor shop is here. Rumor has it that a ten-legged beast lurks inside the underground waterway. That sounds like a new place. Ten-legged beast, huh? Okay, we're good in terms of armor. As long as you don't have any more war, I don't see why Kaipo can't become a great city like any other. Here's the item shop. Uh, let's definitely get a couple potions. W once we get into some fights, we can get some more money. The King of Damsey and erected Grace Hotel and Anna right here in Kaipo.
Nothing in the beds. You don't have anything. I'm going to the I'm going to the graves. I'm just looking around first. Leaving town takes lots of cold liquids to drink. No matter what you do, you stay away from the underground waterway to the northeast. The town of Kaipo is under the domain of Damsey, and now. Kaipo's gotten a lot busier now that the port's finally been completed. Oh, okay, that's. That, okay. <laughs> I guess practicing my synchronized swimming near those graves isn't very appropriate, is it? Oh, there they are. There's the graves. Anna, daughter of the great and gentle sage, rests in this desert oasis surrounded by eternal love. I didn't realize Anna was here as well. Anna, the woman Edward loved with all his heart. She must have been a nice lady. Maybe kind of like our mom. Ooh, we haven't heard about that before. And I witnessed in person the grace and profound love you possessed within. She did? When? May you rest in peace alongside Tello for all time. Sometimes I wonder if I too have a chance. Chance to know a woman like you, a woman who knew how to love more deeply than anyone else. When yeah, when is CC Anna? Because Anna was Anna was dead by the time we uh Got to Palaban for him. What? Nothing. This is the one that poor Palam probably wanted to see. Tell the great sage rests in this desert oasis together with his beloved daughter Anna. He's dancing in a grave. Well, don't just stand there. Offer your respects to him. Tella, may you be happy together with Anna for all eternity. And may you guide us with your infinite wisdom. Especially Palum. He really needs it. <laughs> hey, old man. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, I'm finally here. Came to visit your homeland and everything. Hope you're watching over me, Tella. Because someday I'm gonna be a sage, just like you. Palum, is this why you wanted to come to Kaipo? Just thought I'd check up on the old man first, you know? Now what? Right. On to training, then. To the underground waterway. That doesn't sound good. Also... It said northeast. I was over here, unless it's this. Past the mist is still closed off, you know. Give me one serious headache. You can't go to... Oh, no, 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 no. The underground waterway is the passageway between here and... Here and Damsian. It's not in the city. But we'll stay around the city for a time being because we need to upgrade our stuff. I want to. I don't want to head straight for the. I don't want to head straight for the waterway yet. All the hate. 
today. What's going on? I went back in the city. Where's all the monsters? I want to fight something. It's been almost a half hour. I haven't fought anything yet. Okay, the, the underground waterway was a lot closer than I thought. Maybe there aren't enemies in, in the desert anymore. Oh boy, I forgot just how much of a maze this was. Well, before we take any chances... Aha! Crossbow, ooh! Lightning arrows, okay, someone's getting a bow. I should give it to Porum. It's her tail. I mean, her attack goes pretty down. Never mind, it goes back up. Effective against machines. I'm just gonna give it to Porum because Palum has actual abilities to do damage. Her, she does, the only damage she can do is if she slaps someone with her stick. Well, now I'll shoot someone with the crossbow, so. We have a way to damage things without using magic. And since we're going underground in the waterway, I assume we're going to be meeting a lot of things that are weakened to electricity. If we, if we ever get the, if we ever get the, there we go, finally, first fight. So she should be doing Libra on everything just because we have the ability to. So maybe I should have given the bow and arrow to pour him. Re-raise. Can't keep them missing because they keep on doing a normal attack. I'm just going to start spamming magic. Got a tent. One more, one more item, and it's in like the ooh. This must be the place, the bridge where Tella and Cecil first met. Yeah, this is where we met Tella. What's wrong? Nah, it just struck me. I'm really walking down this path, aren't I? I'm gonna be a sage if I keep this up. Something about super superfluous things in the middle of training. I can't read today. I can read other days. Maybe just not out loud. I know where the last chest is. What am I doing? Oopsies. Oh, I'm gonna, no, there's nothing here. I said last chest, and I immediately forgot that that's the last chest. Palm and Porm are so short, they look like they're drowning. Oh, no, their nose is above it. Ooh. Oh, they all died. At least we're fighting stuff. They would cut this out of the movies version guaranteed. Hey, wizard's hat! Let's play curse. We're gonna give the wizard's hat to Palum just because he's actually the only one doing magic spells. And we'll probably find another one too. We have everything. Let's play Curse. I haven't been doing that bad, have I? Ah, oh, she got her Libra out first. Ha ha. We 
get to level up here soon, right? I'm going the wrong way. I already forgot if there was enough, if there was a five items. <laughs> nope. Nope, this is a giant waste. Ooh. No one survived. We already have that thing notified. Oh, reading fails on camera. Yeah, well, that's just a me thing. <laughs> she had a critical hit. It was a machine, so it did extra damage. Hey, we leveled up, level 11 for both characters. And Palinorn Pig. Porum actually has more ma more health, but Palum is more magic. Ooh. How much is it cure? Three? I want to see how she runs into Kane. What happens then? But I guess we'll find out later. Something must happen during this flashback that... I don't think either of them are particularly proud of. Ooh. I forgot how this path went. Where can I go from here? I can go all the way... I can go... Well, you know what? Let's just check everything, and then I will do a site on the next floor to save some magic. Get the toker. The dark this entire flashback's huge. Oh. Ah, he missed a toad. There's a chest up here. Maiden's Kiss. The exit is down there. Yep, I already have them identified. They're not actually weakened to thunder. It looks like they're weakened to ice. Nothing over here. I'm still doing fine. Ooh, there's a waterfall right there. Like I said. <laughs> Something has to happen. After I play 15, I should play 15 Pocket Edition. I watched the Direct, the Nintendo Direct that happened yesterday. And uh, they announced a bunch of Final Fantasy games for the Switch. And for the Xbox One later on. So I might need to switch a couple of the games over. Mostly because I want achievements. And I, don't, I think they'll have achievements if they go to the Xbox One. Plus, it's way easier to record it on the Xbox One than it is to record it on my PS3. Ooh, save room. I forgot how this dungeon was laid out. Oh, speaking of which, it's the perfect time. But isn't... I, isn't Pocket Edition just the same game, but in, like, a lower quality in terms of graphics? That's all that's all I've heard. 7, 10, and 12. 9 does not. I thought I thought they said 9 was coming over. The one that the only thing they didn't announce was anything about 8. That was close enough. Nine doesn't have achievements. Ah. 
They said nine's not gonna, not, not gonna come with achievements. Ew. Is there a main Final Fantasy yet for vote? Which one is that? We have all we have the all the numbered ones. Unless it was like I don't remember. I remember there there was something that was weird on the list. That I had to I had to label it as I think main series or something. Hit level twelve. I got protect. Ooh, Gaia gear. Who gets? Protects against gradual petrified. Let's give it to Porum. That way, if she ever gets pet, if she can't get petrified, so we can't not get healed. Plus, she had that problem all the time in the in four, where she just got like petrified and turned into stone before we could do anything. Reverend Wings. Is Reverend Wings actually the name of the? actually the name of the game or was it was that like the official subtitle because we're doing zodiac age because it's newer these things hurt there we go Plus 12 already is going to take long enough. When we get to it in like five years, it'll take another five years to beat. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to bother looking at the map on this one because there has to be something at the end of this like long list of things. we ever get there hey either we get to the point where this becomes full-time because it'd be funny or I just quit <laughs> poor and pal leveled up to 13 <laughs> No, I don't want to use a potion yet. Those that cost me money. Still have plenty of Porum's magic to go through. If we quit, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't, I don't want to quit. No, oh, it didn't matter. I mean, at the, I mean, I'm just playing video games and recording them. I mean, I'd just be playing the video games normally if I, if I didn't record them. Plus, I like editing, so it's a win-win. Thunder Rod. Ooh. That was actually better from all, all around. The nuns of money I've made doing Let's Play. Actually, that's not true. I've made a little bit. I've yet to hear anything from YouTube yet. <laughs> Although I'm getting close. Then I should add tactics after eight. Well, then they gotta get voted on. <laughs> I think we'll just people. I know people have made YouTube their full time job. Technically, I'm doing this for like at least forty hours a week. I just don't get paid for it. It's a hobby. 
I get, I get, I get a little bit of money for it. I have Patreon supporters. I have two Patreon supporters. Speaking of which, I haven't done the reward for that in a while. Oopsies. Feel cheated. <laughs> There's nothing over here. I got I got three. There's only three. I know I'm, I'm just ripping people off now. I have I don't think I've identified. I haven't, and I, I took too long. They're all dead. There's a lot more rooms in this place than I thought. There's an entire right-hand side of this area. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's. I don't really need to update the the calendar if the calendar is exactly the same. Although, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's the principle of things. Okay, I gotta get over to that other side. Somehow. Hey, next month should be different. I hope. We're we going down or we're we going up. We're going up. Unless this, is, this looks like it goes all the way around. Yep. Any of them that survive this. We should finally see a change in game next month. <laughs> I might finish them both in the same week. Oh, wouldn't that be a nice little refresher for the channel? Oh, boy. I wonder what's after Zelda. Something that's not Zelda. Something that won't take 160 episodes. <laughs> Hermes Sandals. I know we've been playing Zelda since February, but the lights, the light's coming. The light at the end of the tunnel is almost here. That's the, that's the estimated end. If everything, if everything goes according to plan. Cause we, I, episode 148 came out later today. 149 comes out tomorrow, 150 comes out on Monday. <laughs> yeah, it, it I I died of the I died of the rival in Crystal. <laughs> that would suck. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even release it if I died that early. I'd just be like, that never happened, delete delete footage and then start over. <laughs> okay, I'm at the entrance of the north side. That'd be my secret. It would it would die with me. I feel bad that our last Nuzlocke only had two deaths. It's like, oh, we didn't have to lose those two. Let's get a perfect Nuzlocke. But I was too cautious. Like all the grinding I did before we fought the Elite Four. I had to do that even more for this. Generation 2 is way harder. You know, when we eventually get to it. I'm not saying that's next or anything, but. <laughs> I, I think the, nec the next game that we play that might reach triple digit episodes is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and that's because I don't know anything about that game all the Kingdom Hearts games have gone at least 90 parts I think there was nothing down here I was like so I'm starting until I get Pokeballs well I mean you can get Pokeballs in the first episode pretty quickly Oh, 
Oh, it's still alive. I had, I had Porum attack. He was going to miss that, no matter what. <laughs> the PS3 version of Crystal. Yeah. Has all new, all new music. New monsters, new dungeons. It's full 3D. And not, not like this. I mean, it's 2D images. But you have to use the 3D glasses for it. <laughs> Wasn't there a time when you could, like, make your YouTube video 3D? Silence, silence. Both people hit level 15. I got silence, dude. That's pretty good. Except I've never used it successfully. The PS3 can do that, can it? Wasn't Batman Arkham Asylum had 3D functionality? Maybe not like the 2D, 3D images things, but... I could have sworn that some things had like 3D capabilities. Yeah, I swear it did. Like it came packaged with 3D glasses. There was a slew of games that happened during that time that were just all like, now in 3D. When it was already in 3D. <laughs> but it was like, it can pop out of your screen if you have a 3D TV. Uh, no, it, was, it wasn't even a 3D TV. It was just play this on like 3D graphics. I think my copy of Arkham Asylum has 3D glasses in it. I know Black Ops was like 3D as well. The original Black Ops. This could be dangerous if they all hurt. Hope it's Mass Effect or something. For... Watch me fail? Mass Effect is a legacy series. If anything, we'll have to wait until Resident Evil's done before we play the next Mass Effect game. Which would be in Andromeda. Which I totally could have done in between in between uh in between Batman and this. Hmm? We're at the exit already? Not just yet. What? Can't you feel it? The presence of a monster nearby. A big one. Oh. Yes, now that you mention it. Yeah. Well, I think it was... Yeah. Things are about to get serious. You better get some rest once we're back above ground. Got that right. Are we not supposed to leave? Are we supposed to turn around and go somewhere? I can leave. Ooh, if Dancian's been re completely repaired. Oh no, there's another cave. I forgot about that. Ooh, oh yeah. There was that, like... Wasn't there a giant octopus that we fought? Oh yeah, it was like the creepy octopus with like the weird smile. Oh, you're talking about the game I'm gonna be playing. Yeah, that's labeled on the PS3. Ooh, Palm has no magic. Let's do this. Yeah, that saved me magic for doing a Kira. I have an ether. I wish I would have. I have a tent. Darn it! <laughs> Why do I use that magic? Actually, no, the tent will fix that. Uh, 
what 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 moon phase is currently going on high white magic low black magic eh, let's switch that my official gifts for after after code you have to you don't have to guess what the next legacy game is we have the, we have them all listed off which is what's after resident evil that's not <laughs> i know that was a joke Oh wow, that like the first 30 minutes, there were like no fights, and then like the last 30 minutes, we did an entire dungeon. I suddenly get a copy of Zero. I haven't done that yet. Wait, wait a minute, Pelham. That's too dangerous. The monster at the bottom of this waterfall. Isn't there any other path? Doesn't look like it. You scared? No, of course not. So let's go. I have it on GameCube. I mean, I'm going to be playing it on the one. Just because I have it. And once again, because of achievements. Speaking of GameCube. I got this. <laughs> I mean, it's not anything we're going to be playing recently. I just wanted to get it because I had the ability to get it. It's Pokemon XD. I never owned it. <laughs> Which sucks because I have a copy of Coliseum somewhere. And it, I don't have... And it's lost. I play Coliseum all the time. I never beat it, beat it. Like, do everything after the end of it. I never played this. So I'm curious to see how it is. Also, I just wanted Pokemon from it. Why am I not attacking? Forum leveled up, and Palm leveled up. Oh, if, we had to, if we had to fight this like weird octopus thing again, will we survive? We can we can cast slow on it. I figured out the game after the PS3 game is a Wii game. See, this is why I like putting the labels there. Cause then you have to try and guess. I don't put the names there and I just have people guess until the game comes out. Ooh, Palm's hurt. They all attacked him. Ooh, and this fish also does like 66 damage. With the name of the game, we can guess the console. That's too simple. Unless I put Skyrim down, in which case you'll never know. I don't want to death this episode. And now that I said it out loud, it's probably going to happen. I quit reading my mind. <laughs> I like achievements, okay? That didn't kill you? That killed you. Scrum is way down the Elder Scrolls series. Yeah, but that was the first one I played. <laughs> That's not true. I played a little bit of, of Oblivion, but it was the first one I like really played. Uh, 
Hermes Sandals, which I think gives me haste. Silver Armlet. Ooh, who gets that? Who needs it? Listen to ghost attacks. Your defense is 11. Both your defense is 11. I mean, time wise, yeah. <laughs> he means in release order. I'm just gonna get to pour him because why not? I have I have a couple ethers. I have a high potion. I have another tent if I want to make a trek back, but I don't really want to. We're all, I'm preparing right now. We still have a little bit to go before we get there. There it is. Giant creepy, creepy octopus thing. Quit hitting Alan, please. Oh, no level up. We probably could have used that. I just want to double check the items. Hermes Sandals does cast haste. So we might want to slow it down and then cast haste on ourselves. It's also has ailments from entire party. I mean, I haven't I haven't played Morrowind. I haven't played Daggerfall, which is supposed to be just gigantic. I haven't played Arena. I have I have 100% at Oblivion. And I have 100% of Skyrim. A PC game? Anything that would be easy to record on PC that I could totally record on a console instead. <laughs> Here goes my first death in the past, the Sagehood. Don't let your guard down. I know, I know. Yeah, this is the octopus again with the funny face. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever game you picked. <laughs> Ow! Can I go? Actually, you know what? You need to use an item right now. Ooh, it missed you. Okay, those, uh, these white magics are really powerful. I need to kill its arms. What am I attacking its body right now for? Also, I did a Blizzara. That did a lot. Oh, it's casting protect on itself. There go its arms. Make sure we're at full health. Ooh! I might finish the flashback today. It's only been an hour. Oh, none of the arms are slowed. Oh yeah, 
I forgot the thing for this was to keep one of the arms alive, I think. Because if they all died, then they regenerate. Or something like that. I just need to kill the face. Except all the arms are still casting Blizzard and stuff. I need this Kira. Yeah, there's Regenerate. I just cast slow on it. Just on it. Ugh, it was already slowed. Oh, it's healing it. That's not good. I'm healing the monster right now. Oh boy. Do not cast a Blizzara on her. Uh oh. Still alive! They're both still alive! I just need the face to die. Horum's getting hurt. She's a blizzard away now. Ah, oh, she's dead. I don't have any Phoenix Downs, I think. No, I don't. I'm out of magic, too. I had a band that I, was, I never got to use. Well, this sucks. I'm just gonna just kill. Just die, we'll get a team wipe, we'll start over. I know now that electricity heals you. <laughs> Don't wanna do that again. I'll right, be a bit more prepared for this time. <laughs> Let's get up right next to it. Yeah, that was dumb. It took me way too long to realize that I was healing it with electricity. Also, I guess black magic isn't really helping us as much as it's helping them, too. Any other items that we could possibly use? No, not really. Just Hermes sandals. That'll help right at the beginning. All right, round two. Yep, we've seen this. <laughs> the first step, the first step on your plan, the sage didn't really go that well. We'll kill as many arms as we can until there's only one left, and then we'll just save it. That way, they never regenerate. Don't kill us before we get a chance to attack. What if just 
cows on it. Form is in danger right now. Form's in too much danger right now. Why did I not heal her? I didn't think they'd just focus on her. I just gotta wait this out, and it's slowed. Thunder is to kill the arms. It, the arms are weakened to it. I know it heals the body, but I mean, we didn't do any damage to it. If you heal it, does it like go up to plus health? Or does it have like a high limit? I could do something else instead of thunder. But the arms are weakened to thunder. So I don't know if it'll kill the arms if I kill it with something else. Do you have any defenses that she has that she could use right now? Right way? I don't, I don't know what that means. Grind more? That's all I can think right now. Else I went straight right as soon as you said right way. I was just checking to see if there's anything down there. Do I know a hold? I do. It's the first one. Maybe I'll do hold instead of slow. <laughs> Hold the arms and fear the body. All right, let's try that then. I'll just cast hold on everything and let holds only on one. And for the time being, I'll just have Palom try and keep Porum alive until she can finish holding everything. I'm letting my guard down. That's what's happening. Nope, I have to do it individually. Yeah, why not? Hermie Sandals yourself. Okay, now Palm's about to die. And Palm's dead. I'll slow everything first, then I'll start holding stuff. There's four groups of arms. And then the body. I should have bought some Phoenix Downs before I entered this place. Or the game could have at least given me some. I have rays. She has rays! She doesn't need a Phoenix Down! Is this fun? <laughs> I'm a moron. You said it and then it was like, oh yeah, she does. Oops. Also, the Hermes sandals did nothing. Well, it did something, but it didn't it didn't actually do anything to help. Oh yeah, silence too. Okay. It's just like live, die, repeat. Uh, edge of tomorrow. We're, we're dying a bunch so that we can find the correct path to get to the end. 
Remember when I said Deathless episode? Yeah, I jinxed myself. Please give me the turn right now. Everything's slow, I'll just cast fire to maybe kill some of the arms. Maybe not all of them will die, but... None of them died. I had to do a Kira, because I'm about to die. Does the paralyzed last? <laughs> Long enough? I hope so because it's the only one. Back ones are the ones that ca cast magic. Front ones just slap. That's how it works, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's probably how it works. Or it just dies in three turns. Silence, remember? What? We didn't have to do a thing. We level up. <laughs> the happy music. Ha! So much for Sage trial number one. And bonk him across the head because we died three times. Ouch! What was that for? You had your eyes on that monster from the start, didn't you? You knew Tell had problems with it, and you wanted to test your metal on it for yourself. Yeah, something like that. What now? Is this really the kind of thinking a sage would have, Palum? Of course! Maybe you should think a little more about how you use your magic. Well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several more years later. Ooh, boy, this is a very long flashback. Well... Let's see, we were six. Let's say we were nine there. Are we at least different models yet? Yes, we are. So my eye color changed from what? Red to blue? Or was it purple before? Where did Palm run off to this time? Our first trip to Mist in years, and he decides to pull a no-show on me. Hmm? Oh, I guess that was the, that was the flashback. And now look who's here. I thought we were going to Mist. 
Unless we're taking the we're taking the airship. Ooh, be Sid. Oh, hi, hi, Sid. We haven't seen you since you left the castle in episode two, one. <laughs> one of those episodes. It's Santa. Parham, hey you? Yeah, you've definitely grown up on me, girl. Hope that was not like creepy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Didn't mean to. Oh, not at all. I should be the one thanking you, preparing an airship for us and everything. I okay, remember when there's a cape. Actually, you're the one helped me out here. I've just upgraded the Falcon, you see. I needed a test flight or two anyway. I suppose he's not coming. Hmm? No, it's nothing. Thanks again. I mean, I know Sid's married. Whatever. So, you're headed for Mist? That's right. Ooh, wait till you see Rydia. She's more beautiful than ever now, you know? Once again, I'm sure she is. It's been quite a few years since we last met. It, it's, a, it's his way of complimenting people. I'm just gonna say that. Haha. <laughs> you certainly give her a run for her money, though, Porum. Oh, Sid, don't flatter me like that. I don't ever lie to a woman, Porum. That's the ever-loving truth. In that case, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, it's not funny. Ready to go then, my dear? The Falcon's a dream to ride on now. The upgrade's really done the trick this time. Can you survive falling out of it if it blows up? Also, where'd Palum go? Oh, so he's Master Roshi. He has the glasses and beard and everything. Oh, Porum is on here. Or Palum is on here. I keep on getting run. Palum, what are you doing here? Yeah, we know who Palum is. What? Am I supposed to report every little detail of my life to you? Can you be with this girl, Sid? Now, now, Palum. You really ought to treat the women in your life better. You know, like I do. <laughs> I would happily if the woman in question didn't spend all day giving me lip. How long has Palum been aboard the Falcon, Sid? Pay me a visit over in Baron, actually. You crossed the Devil's Road into Baron? Is there something wrong with that? Bonk him! Come on! You can't just go through the Devil's Road without telling anyone, Palum. What if something happened to you in there? Then what? Yeah, yeah. What, are you my mother now? Hey, now. I know you're a rebellious teenager and all, Palum, but come on. This is still a flashback. Uh. They're not teenagers. If it's been like 15 years, they're at least in their 20s now. There's nothing to do with that. <laughs> so I guess the two of you really are growing up, aren't you? Sid, don't eat your pipe. <laughs> At least we're the same level as we were when we left. <laughs> we still technically have the same items, too. All 
right, off to... Here we go. I think this is our second time actually being here and being able to go inside the buildings. How does it make sense if it was only a few weeks? I used to live counting in fear of monsters, but that age is all but forgotten nowadays. Thanks to Rydia, Cecil, and that young man who sneaks in here sometimes, we can feel more secure now. Young man who... Edge. <laughs> Heard you could learn some summoning magic through acquiring certain items. I can? Ooh, I could buy some stuff. Because we have one of each. There. Crossbow Holy Arrows, ooh. Defend against ghosts and undead. Oh, it's an arrow type, why not? Or I can start using a whip. What does it mean? Inn's over there. I wonder where I wonder where everyone is. The grave in the north of the town belongs to Rydia's mother. Probably at the grave. The grave's probably where we have to go. I almost I almost bought it. I, I'm trying to find the shop, like the the item shop, so I can buy some items, please. There isn't one of those in here, is there? Ooh, that's not good. The Mist, the Village of Summoners. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Rydia! Oh, that's poor. How wonderful to see you again. I thought it was a Sid. Callum, pour him. Hey, don't forget. Yeah, <laughs> don't forget about me, girl. You come here all the time, Sid. <laughs> My goodness, you two are all grown up now, aren't you? I'm glad to see you in good health, Rydia. How are you doing, Palum? Uh, okay. <laughs> so, what brings you here today? We just thought we'd pay you a visit since it's been so long. Well, thank you very much. Take your time here. It'll be lovely to have you. Listen, I know we just got here, but I got a favor to ask. Huh? What's that? I want to go to the Fey March. What? I didn't realize you were interested in the Indolans. It's for my training. You're trying to become a sage, aren't you? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say trying, but... <laughs> well then, maybe a quick visit would be good for you. Rydia! Uh, 
Are you sure? I haven't been back lately myself. Why don't we all go take a look around? This is a job for the Falcon, then. Palum, this is why you came to see Sid in the first place, isn't it? About time you figured it out. Let's get ready to leave, then. You'll be joining us, right, Porum? I... I'm sure she'd rather stay here and hold down the fort. I'm going too. Ready to go, Sid? You got it. You'll be a snap with my new falcon. Hmm. Hey, ready to join? Oh, she has her powers still. Wait, is Sid not joining, or is he just staying on the ship? Everyone's in the background. She's level 15. Oh, please tell me she has all of the summons. She has her black magic still. But, oh boy. That's <laughs> Bahamut. We got everyone here. <laughs> Random results. This tail is good now. Going to her secret fireplace. I'm lost. I, oh, here we go. Silver hourglass. Dry ether. Looks like there's another path right here. Soma drop. And a cottage. I don't have the missable summons, but I miss them anyway. <laughs> Who gets the items we just picked up? Max MP by 10. Who gets this? Rydia gets it. Just because it'll give her more abilities to summon. I'll eventually get back. I can find my way back. There we go. Well, I, yeah, I already used it on Rydia. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have used... Well, then... Oh, yeah, then Porum would have been the best. Well, it's just 10. <laughs> Here lies the motherly summoner who protected our village. They don't even give her a name. What was Rydia's mom's name? Bomb frag. Ugh. <laughs> That's not a good thing to find here. There used to be a great many summoners in the world, but I fear the art has been mostly lost now. So, Rydia. There is a secret here. Quit, stop with the bomb stuff! We, we don't need reminders of what Cecil and Kane did here. Okay, well, there's still, there's still the problem of we can't buy any... We don't have any... I guess when we get to the Fame Arch, I think. All we have to do is leave, and then Sid will take us somewhere. Can we actually go in this cave? Where are you taking us? Miss is over this way. I know. 
testing yourself against the monsters again, aren't you? Oh, get off my back already. <laughs> Whoops. That's all that turned out into. Ready to head off? Yep, I think we're good. You just need to stop at an item shop, please. Then hang on. The Falcon's ready to fly. Sid, would you mind if we stopped by the Dwarven Castle? No problem, my dear. I was just thinking about that myself. Well, good to see Luca again, Palum. I, uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. Oh, really now? Finish the castle, but stop before the dungeon. Eh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the dungeon has, what the castle has to hold at least. Are there any points of no return that I should be worried about inside the castle? Lolly ho! Welcome back. Oh, she was waiting for us all this time, huh? Princess Luke is doing fine. She's been having a lot of fun lately. King Giat is up above here. Lolly hosts the Dwarven greeting. Just don't go back outside. I won't go back outside. This is the perfect time to shop. We never used our potions before. So we'll just get a couple, and then we'll get some Phoenix Downs so that we don't have any issues about Rydia die. Uh, not Rydia. Poor him dying, and then we just don't he we just don't heal anything. No reaction, to Rydia's mom. What was it? It was Bernardia. Why did they put that on the? If they have a name, why did they put it on the on the thing then? Ways and stats. I think I have a Suna. Blind Toadstone. I'll get a couple more potions. Oh, a random name generator. You, you liar. Hey, a thousand free gill inside a pot. <laughs> the bird of the gods is gone. Oh, where did you go, fat chocobo? Oh, this poor guy. That wasn't a pot, it was a vase. It was an urn. I can say, I can say words too. <laughs> I went back outside, I'm sorry. Take good care of your equipment. When is he ever not a prankster? When I want the truth. Hi, Potion. I'm in the back. <laughs> Nothing back here. We're gonna clean this place up before, before uh, Zangetsu ever gets the chance to. Except how do I get out of the wall? A 
Okay, so I got these three. How do I get that fourth one? There we go. Cottage. Yeah, we'll just grab everything we can here before we go talk with Luca. Who we have yet who we haven't seen since Rydia's. Actually, no, we saw her last episode. I went back outside! Yeah, we saw her last episode when when uh Edge and the gang landed on their ship. The poor fat chocobos. We've scared them into inexistence. Hey, the guy with the drill. I haven't seen you in forever. You doing well, young old man? Oh yeah, Sid's in the Sid's in the party? No, he's not. Doors are built the last the minutes leaves enough to fix anything. Lolly ho. Rose petals on still water. Area's under construction. Oh, that's the exit, exit path. No, the fat chocobo. Where's all the gishel greens? I guess it doesn't matter. Found a phoenix down. Found a high potion. Found echo herbs. <laughs> what new weapons are here? Probably nothing new. No, nope, that's all the same stuff I had. Well, hold on. We might want to get Rydia some stuff. Seeing as how she apparently ha doesn't have any protection. We'll sell everything that we have after this. That we can sell. I just don't want Riddy to die either, even if we, if we get into any fights. Riddy is not a real name. What? There we go. I have 999 gill. The bar is probably open. The secret development room is not there. The Lollio pub. Actually, there is no one in this room. It is not open. And that only leaves the that leaves the eastern tower and then the king's chamber. High potion. Take good care of your equipment. I will after I steal everything here. Oh boy, there's a there's a section of the map over there that I can't get to. Aha, there it is. Antidote. Should I name her Lydia? Yeah, Rydia, sound, Rydia sounds more unique. Bronze Hourglass. I think that's everything. It's quite like the mistake and they just decided to keep it. I went outside because I'm a rebel. We're all fine down here. 
Yeah, no offense. So that clearly Rydia sounds more unique than Lydia. I mean, if there's anyone in the chat that's named Rydia... Then again, I don't think I've ever had anyone in the chat named Lydia either. <laughs> I don't want to start comparing names. <laughs> okay, we've done everything. Let's head on to go see Luca. Sid! Well, well, well! I haven't seen you in a dog's age, King Giat. How are you doing? I'm fit as a fiddle, Rydia. And who would this pair be? It's good to see you again, your highness. I am poor Mimicidia. And I'm Palum. My! How could I not have known? You've grown so much, both of you. Are they here? And there's Luca. Luca. Tap <laughs> Palum's face the other way. Palum and Porum, Sid too. It's great to see you, Luca. Uh, uh, yo. <laughs> My good, good job, Palum. You've managed to become a stylish little lady since I last saw you. Do you like it? I never was a fan of dwarven fashion, really. So it brings you all of here. All of you here. I can read. No, I, I, I've proven I can't. Well, we were hoping the Rydia could take us to the Fey March. It's part of my sage training. Is it now? Well, I appreciate you paying us a visit then. Feel free to stop by anytime you please. You are family to every dwarf in the underworld. You better get going. What? You're leaving already? How rude of you, Palum. We just came to say hello, Porum. We'll come back soon, Luca. I'll go with you. Hey, hey now, let's not get carried away. You don't mind, do you, Father? I want to ride on Sid's airship. Luca, I don't want you getting in their way. Ah! You're interested in my airship, are you? I expect nothing less from the Dwarven Princess. So it's okay. <laughs> sure. But only as far as the passage of the Edolans, okay? Wahoo! Well, that's wonderful, Luca. I tell you, all this child talks about is you guys. And you wouldn't believe how she goes on about pal. Hey, hey, whoa! I don't know what you're talking about, Father. Hey, settle down. I told you. I don't want you causing any trouble. Ah, Poor Luca and Palum. They have, like, a weird relationship. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't see a save point, so... I mean, I could just save outside. But if I go outside, then... Yeah, there, there wasn't a save point here. I'll leave him alone, pervy Sid. Sid knows how to control himself. He's not, he's, he looks, but that's it. I can go outside. Yay, I got permission. Don't get on the ship. Yeah. Okay, we'll end it here. Okay, so Sid and Luca aren't part of the group, so their names aren't going to be on the YouTube video over there. You just have Palomporm and Rydia. 
if they do end up joining the group eventually then i'll add them but for the time being no <laughs> so let's get to over this episode of final fantasy forever next week we'll see where we go with with uh this we're still flashback we're heading over to the land of the Edolans. Poor wants to go train there. Or Pal wants to go train there. Rudy wants to go visit. And Poor is just along for the ride. So, yeah, we'll find out what happens then. Maybe we'll finish off Poor's tale. Even though we're still not technically in the present yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll, maybe this is... They said it was annoying. Maybe it's just short. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoyed.